you can use Megaline to align entire DNA or protein sequences, or subregions of sequences that you define. Here, I'm going to align DNA sequences for the histone H2B1 and H2B2 sequences from two different organisms. And you can see that when I align these sequences in their entirety, we get a large gapped region in the alignment. One way to avoid this is to only align a portion of these sequences. In this case, all of my sequences are annotated, so I can limit the sequence ranges to a feature of interest. To do this, go to Options, Set Sequence Limits from Feature Table, and this opens the Set Sequence Ends dialog. Here, all of the features annotated on each sequence are listed. From here, I can choose a feature, and that shows me the range of that feature on my sequence. To limit the sequence to just those coordinates, I'll click Next, and then select the CDS feature for each of the remaining sequences. Now, if I align only the sequences of the CDS features, you'll see the alignment looks much better, and we no longer have the large gapped region. If your sequences are not annotated, you can specify the range of each sequence to use by going to Options, Set Sequence Limits by Coordinates, and this opens a Set Ends dialog. In this dialog, you can type in the 5' prime and 3' prime coordinates you want to use for the sequence ends. Here, you can also elect to use the reverse complement of a sequence, or the inverse sequence, which is useful for circular sequences where the range crosses the origin of replication. Another way to align partial sequences is by performing a subalignment. For example, here I have already aligned these gamma tubulin protein sequences. You can see that these sequences align fairly well over the majority of the aligned region. However, there is considerable variation at the ends of the sequences. I can exclude this variable region from the alignment by dragging my cursor over the region of the consensus that I want to include, and then selecting Align, Create Alignment from Selection. And now I'm prompted to save my new alignment as a new Megaline file. And this creates a new alignment which is a clone of the original alignment. And you can see that at the end of the sequences, we no longer have the variable regions. At this point, you may wish to realign your sequences using any of the alignment methods available in Megaline. If you have further questions about creating sub-alignments in Megaline, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website, dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.